a cross country drive from um, we started in Detroit, went through the tunnel to Windsor, then we drove up to um, Sarnia in Ontario, crossed over the bridge and came back all the way out to Travel City here to this great event. Was that about uh, 300 miles something? Yeah, yeah. about uh, 300 miles. The biggest opportunity for us was to understand the border better. Um, I mean, the data that we have from that is, is very important data, and we'll be able to provide a, a very, very uh, good idea of what needs to be installed at borders uh, for these types of events where you're having automated vehicles cross. The, uh, the cars, of course, went through the tunnel. Was that an issue? Was that a problem? Yeah, the tunnel's challenging. It's not uh, trivial by any means. Um, you know, you've got a single lane marking in the tunnel, and uh, other other techniques and uh, systems, I would say, are, are necessary for proper uh, traversing of the tunnel. And as soon as you enter the tunnel, you've got a, a very sharp turn, yeah, that uh, basically goes into a very narrow lane, and you know those are not simple uh, by any means. I assume the bridge of Sarnia is a little bit easier to. Yeah, we, we did go automated over the bridge and disengaged at the uh, at the toll booth. So what actually uh, we we would need some sort of. Uh, transmitter or repeater of uh, GPS in the tunnels to be able to localize inside okay. the tunnel. Uh, that would be very helpful automated driving in, through these types of scenarios. Hey, maybe the bridge is a better uh, place for automated vehicles to cross and you designate that as the primary crossing point. And uh, I mean, the mayor of Windsor didn't have a problem with that, but um, you know, these evaluations are necessary to answer that question yeah. ultimately. What kind of technology, uh, be, beyond just the kind of things we're talking about here, uh, should be implemented in that uh, bridge that's going in? Is there is there something else uh, like intelligent uh, uh, communications that uh, definitely yeah, need, need, need to put in there? Yeah, definitely. You know, not only uh, going through the tunnel, but your arrivals of the tunnel will require some sort of identification, and with that, yeah, some kind of smart vehicle to infrastructure communication uh, would be required yeah. and again another piece of you know why we're doing this to really help them out and uh, make them understand what they're going to ultimately need for these types of events so at customs checkpoint the system was disengaged we didn't try automate it we drove many okay we can understand it's quite difficult there's a lot going on there were the customs people a little a little bit taken aback by seeing a vehicle like this? Did they did they recognize what it was when you pulled up? So the trip was well organized, mm -hmm. and uh, the customs people and everybody was was very friendly, very open, and they were really um, excited to see this vehicle and support us there. This was yeah. a big thing from both sides, Canadian and US side. Yeah. Uh, what was it like when you finally arrived here in Traverse City and, and uh, was welcomed uh, by some uh, dignitaries signing uh, an agreement uh, in the two countries? Well, we were, we were well prepped for the event, so um, I think uh, the arrival and the event 
Um, everything we did this week is very exciting, uh, and it's a big step. It really shows the cooperation of, uh, of our governments in supporting what we're doing. Would you do it again? Of course. Yeah, I mean, not just because the tribe, also because um, it's, a, it's a good test environment. You have different environments. You have the traffic and the road conditions in Michigan, yeah. and then you have traffic and road conditions in, in Ontario. Yeah. And you just cross and then suddenly it changes and the system should handle this. That's what we want to develop. You're doing something that a lot of people have not done yet. It's going to be, a, it's going to be hard to explain to people uh, what automatic driving is all about, automated driving is all about. You think they're going to pick it up very quickly? That's, of course, like any other systems, has to be introduced step by step and people will adapt to this. Mm -hmm. And then people will see the benefit, it mm -hmm. brings safety, mobility, efficiency, it reduces emissions, mm -hmm. these are all our goals. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations, it was a great trip and uh, hopefully uh, you'll get a longer trip next time. Yes, I hope so. I mean, it's always fun and we get a lot of data, a lot of knowledge out of this mm -hmm. to make it even better. Yeah, okay. yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah.